Like two boats thought to be at least a century old have been brought back from the past in Staveley. Yes, working with them, uh, with the local community and the team behind plans to restore the Chesterfield Canal, archaeologists dug up the boats from the depths of the Derbyshire field. Tom Ingle joined in the hunt. There's no surprise in archaeologists digging up a field. That's what they do after all. But digging up a field and finding two boats? Let me be honest, this field isn't everything it appears to be. It was actually the site of Bell House Basin on the Chesterfield Canal, with the cut itself running through the weeds in that direction. Now, around a century ago, Norwood Tunnel, which is seven miles or so that way, collapsed, meaning this part of the canal eventually fell out of use and was abandoned altogether. In the early 1970s, Bell House Basin, complete with two boats still moored in it, was filled in, waiting to be uncovered until now. We started finding the nails and it went further along. We realised we got a bit of boat and then the bit over there we found as well. And, and suddenly we thought it's just like Christmas. When it, we first uncovered these, they were sort of wet and they were quite solid. But now it, it is just really crumbly as soon as the air gets at it. It's fucking really hard here. How is it? What's got the team really excited are the crumbling remains of a cuckoo boat. These 70 foot long craft first appeared in the late 1700s. As the Chesterfield Canal only ever connected to the River Trent, boatmen never saw the need to update the design. They were horse-drawn until the end of their lives. The Chesterfield Canal Trust have built their own cuckoo, but finding an original, albeit properly landlocked, is really special. All the local people around here, they t tell stories in the 50s and the 60s of coming and playing on these boats, but you can never be 100% certain. So when we found that first timber, that was just absolute magic. It was just so exciting. And then to find all this stuff and the other boat as well and various other finds, it's just, it's, it's more than we could have hoped for. At some point, this cuckoo has tangled with a slightly more modern maintenance boat. The scene of this ancient maritime mess has revealed plenty of finds. It's quite exciting to find things that other people have in the past have like been touching and things and like used. There is a bittersweet end to this story. The Chesterfield Canal is slowly being restored inch by costly inch. This is the original line of the cut. These are the levels of the towpath over the centuries. But once this dig is over, and after an open day this weekend, Bell House Basin itself will be filled in again. The boats will be once more lost to the ground. The cuckoo and its companion found and forsaken in a fortnight. Tom Ingle, BBC Look North, Staveley. Incredible finds there. Mm, what a shame they cover it all back over, though. Very much so. Right.